Hi everybody, it's me Monica and welcome to another speed build. So today we are going to be doing a vampire gatehouse on 30 by 20 lot in Hanford and Bagley. Uh, you can see a real reference in here that I found on Pinterest like, ages ago. <laughs> Uh, and that gatehouse was standing on my Pinterest account for a long, long time. And to be quite honest, I was a little bit afraid of it uh, because it has like a complicated roofing and basically it doesn't look like something that you really can recreate in The Sims. Uh, but thankfully, right now, I'm a little bit more skilled uh, than before. So I think that I managed to do it quite nicely. Also, I was able to squeeze like a basement with coffins. And also, I built under the roof area where you can find like an art room and also some like jewelry making things. So I was actually able to squeeze quite a lot in a small build. Uh, we have one bedroom for two vampires and we classically have uh, like one bathroom, kitchen, living room, and everything. Everything is functional, by the way. I'm truly hoping uh, because I um, tried everything that I could remember and everything functioned. Of course, if you have a uh, very like old and slow computer, I don't think this is going to work for you. So. I'm really, really sorry for that, but I just can't help myself. I really love doing detailed builds. By the way, I'm so sorry that I didn't have time <laughs> that much to, to create uh, in The Sims 4, but I'm here now and I'm always going to try to make new content for you when I'm able to, when I have the time. And also, I know how you guys love my vampire builds, and I didn't do any vampire builds for a while. Uh, so this was like a perfect opportunity for this. Um, of course, you can place this uh, in the Forgotten Hollow if you want to have your vampires uh, living in there. Uh, but for me, it just it didn't work that nicely. I really like this lot because it looks like it's in between of two roads, if that makes sense. Um, so the gatehouse looks quite nice on this particular lot because of it. And I... At the end, I actually uh, turn on the autumn part of the year. So just because I wanted everything to look a little bit more spooky. And I thought that looked so, so nice. Uh, I know it's spring right now, so <laughs> it's not really autumn. Um, but I don't know, I really sometimes like to do autumn builds and that really worked with this build this particular time. Uh, you can see me struggling a little bit with the roofs uh, and that was definitely something that I was expecting for the, of this build that I'm going to struggle a lot with the roof but I managed to do it at the end. Um, at least I liked it. It doesn't look necessarily the same but it looks close enough also you can see that i built like a little garage area um at least it should have been <laughs> a garage but at the end i actually decided to turn it into stables 
Um, just because I thought that horses go better with the vampires and also this is like a historical build so it would be nice to imagine like a little carriage or just horses uh, coming through these gates so yeah I, I made stables and if you don't have horse ranch uh, you can always turn it back into a garage or maybe you can add a grill or something that you would see in here. Of course, this house doesn't have to be a vampire house. You can always turn it into something else. But I really wanted to do this house in more of a spooky kind of version. And that's something that I really often like to do. And I'm really hoping that you would like that um, idea of mine. Um, one of the main inspirations for this build was actually paintings from my friend Buona Sins. Uh, like, I don't know, do you know or not, but she started making like awesome beautiful custom content paintings that you can uh, download for for free uh, I believe both on her patreon page and on curseforge um, if you are not supporter of her on her patreon account uh, please download her CC from curseforge uh, so she can get a, a small fee for her hard work okay so um, those paintings like she made so many beautiful paintings and swatches and they all look amazing honestly she did like a coastal uh, collection countryside um, Kawaii she did almost every theme that she could possibly do uh, but I was drawn to this Dark ac Academia swatches just because we really don't have that much in the game. Uh, we really miss uh, paintings like that. At least me, <laughs> because I really love to build the dark stuff. Um, so I was literally right away inspired by those swatches and I really wanted to do something with those and I just started doing this you know and I was hoping that this would be a perfect build to do so for the outside part um, I didn't do that much I think I did like an easel outside and more or less items uh, from the outside are um, more like decorational. I don't know, just I guess just because my sims are vampires, so uh, I thought that they're not spending that much time around the house during the day. I don't know, maybe that's not like what it really is but to me in my head that was just um i don't know logical i guess but i created like a small pond outside and i added an easel outside you can easily put a chess table or something like that if you want to of course there are a lot of space outside but i just didn't want to fill it out too much and also I added a place for a cat and also for a horse, like I said uh, before. There is like a lot, a lot of details to this house and they were so important to me because every time I'm recreating something, like literally recreating something, I want it to look you know the same <laughs> if that's even possible and also I found like a background picture of this gatehouse so I decided to try to recreate the back side of the house as well 
so yeah i'm i'm truly truly hoping that you are going to like this build because i think it's super adorable and as you can see i just changed the like summertime into the fall or autumn time and i think it just works so so nice for this build especially in hanford and bagley like autumn time looks so beautiful because like the colors of the nature with all this like golds and reds and everything and also the lighting looks very 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 nice uh, so I'm very happy and pleased with my decision to make this build in uh, autumn time and I'm really hoping that you do agree of course uh, this build is going to look beautiful in any season uh, because you know it's beautiful <laughs> at least it is to me definitely tell me in the comments do you like it or not would you change something um i don't know this is this is just what i like doing you know uh, darker builds are totally my vibe and for a while i didn't do one i believe that the last one i did was a um, witch cottage which is like one of my favorite builds ever and you guys liked it so much I couldn't believe it uh, how many of you watched that video and I'm so happy and proud that you like it that much but I'm really really hoping that you are going to like this build too because to me it's very important uh, as I said before, I had this build in on my Pinterest account, like saved for for years, I, I think. And I was just too scared. So right now when I'm not scared anymore, I'm really hoping that I'm not going to uh, disappoint you. Uh, you know what kind of a perfectionist I am. I just can't help myself. Um, I was speaking before about my ADHD and everything. And, you know, I really start started loving it. Um, I don't know why. I really started working a lot on my mental health. And I really am learning how to love my ADHD and no matter how much time i need for one build they always look the way i wanted them to look and i just love adding details and like just realistic things that you would find in a specific house in real life <laughs> at least that's like my seeing of things of course um for some people, realism is maybe something else, but to me, you know, I'm more of maximalist rather than minimalist, so I'm always going for my style, you know, and I'm really, really hoping that you're going to like it too. Uh, this entrance is so adorable, I swear to God, I don't know why. It's really simple. It doesn't have like many flowers or anything. We have some bushes and also some mushrooms, uh, like adorable mushrooms from uh, originally from Hemford on Bagley. Um, I've got a lot, a lot of questions um, in terms of doing my landscape and like how am I doing it and things like that, why I always look so good with the surroundings. And I'm going to give you like a small tip. And the small tip is that try to use as many plants as you can from the surroundings. So if you are, you know, in Hanford and Bagley, for example, try using uh, only plants from Hanford and Bagley or from Cottage Living Pack 
uh, don't use that much plants from the other packs. And if you do, definitely try to search for, you know, some swatches that work um, with the plants that you are using from Hanford. I think that's very important and that's the reason why my landscapes always look so so natural i think that's the main reason maybe maybe i'm wrong but i really do believe that's true you know that's at least what i'm working on while uh i'm doing my my landscapes so try not to overuse plants you know try try not to overuse them from every single pack that you have yeah uh so as you can see i added like veil in here uh unfortunately that one is not functional but i really love using live edit objects um they are so important to me because in live edit mode objects you can find so many different things that can go in your advantage when it comes to building especially because most of items from debug and live edit mode are free which is crazy so you don't you don't need to have like a huge budget to use them and that's what I really really like especially if you are doing like a starter home or something always use live edit mode uh, live edit object and I believe that you can find in my description how to unlock them it's not complicated uh, also I have uh, twisted maxis uh, build and buy mod so it's more simple for me because I don't need to type cheats every single time so if you like mods or if you even if you if you don't um, I would definitely recommend using a uh, twisted maxis build and buy mode because it's so much more simple simple to find anything it's it's really organized and very simple to to use and it's very simple to find items that you need in your game so it's just a little note of course if you don't want to use mods don't do it but if you don't have nothing against it i think that would be quite smart and you can see that I added like a little bit of a glass roof uh, which just adds more light into the space and it looks magical um, unfortunately there is no that much light in autumn time but if you are building in summertime with that roof, you are going to see just how beautiful light uh, can be inside. So I think that's very, very cute. Uh, also, you are going to see that I extended uh, stables later on. I'm not sure um, do I have a footage of that but i think that you're going to see it in the end pro, um, product and also you're going to see it in the end of this video where i'm always putting like a walkthrough and i think that's very important to watch because uh, you are going to fill the space a little bit better i believe this is like a british style of a gatehouse i'm not 100 percent but i believe that this gatehouse comes from great britain um at least that's what i would say uh by looking at it i'm not 100 percent so um i'm really sorry if i said that wrong but that's just what i believe uh, you are going to see now that I added one more room um, under the roof 
on the that's the second floor yes on the second floor and also you're going to see soon enough that I edit like a basement as well I don't always do basements uh, necessarily when I'm doing like vampire homes but in this particular case I don't know I just felt like it would be super cute if this house would have like a basement with coffins and everything and I kind of wanted it to remain a little bit hidden so I added like an entrance from the outside of the build. You are going to see everything soon enough. I actually didn't record that part. And then at the end I decided to record it uh, because it was... I don't know. Uh, I felt like I'm cheating if I'm not showing you how I built uh, like the basement so I did that as well and you are going to see that right after I changed and fix this roofing that is so so complicated but it worked at the end and it's functional your sim can get through and everything is fine And now we are getting to this basement area. Um, of course, I'm going to decorate it a little bit later on, not right now. But it's functional. Uh, your sims can use the coffins, so everything worked perfectly fine. And also, you can see that I added like a roof in here and I didn't want it to do it, to be quite honest, but at the end I was thinking about the horse and what if it's raining outside, you know, if you have seasoned, then you have a rain sometimes or like a bad weather. So I decided to just add a roof, uh, like a gla glass roof, so you cannot see it that much. And we are in the first room of this build, and this is obviously a kitchen. I used a beautiful kitchen from Felix Sandre. It's, I believe, Paris collection, and it's one of my favorite uh, kitchens when it comes to dark academia. So I really, really wanted to use that one and as you can see, I added this Florence kind of wallpapers and they looked so good together with this kitchen. I don't know why, but I really, really loved it. We have a very small table, as you can see, only for two people, but I think that's fine because like vampires are kind of more lonely I would say maybe I'm wrong but they have like a lot of places to sit in the living room you are going to see soon enough also I like hide this little library over here and it almost looks like it's in the hallway between the kitchen and the living room but it looked really, really good to me, so I decided to uh, try to do it, you know. And we have one small bathroom in here. It's quite small, but it has all the necessities, uh, let's say it like that. Uh, you have like a full bathtub in here rather than the shower. I don't know, um, especially when you have a pet, I think that you need to have a bathtub. 
so I decided to give you a bit dub in here and now you can see all of those wonderful pictures from Buena Sims that look so 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 good thank you so much Buena <laughs> we really really needed needed those and now it's going to be even easier for me to do like vampire builds um, I don't know, uh, you know, art in dark academia slash vampiric kind of houses is like a necessity to me. And every time I'm struggling with it, every single time, like what to put, um, which custom content, because we don't have enough pictures like that in the game. And... I always needed to download like some extra content from some other custom content creator that I don't ever use just to have like paintings and now I'm so so happy because actually Boana did so many beautiful swatches and I believe that I really don't need to download any other pictures ever again and I swear to God, she did like 30 swatches for like one, one painting. So you have a lot, a lot to choose from. And I'm really grateful that she did that. Uh, this is like a bedroom and this is the only bedroom with a double bed. Uh, but as you can see, I was able to squeeze quite a lot in here. Um, including this piano from Florence set by Felix, I believe. And just, I think it looks very nice. It looks very nice. And also this groove bed from Felix is so spooky. I don't know why, uh, but it has like little crosses on the ends of it. And it just looks perfect for a vampire, even though it's inspired by Mediterranean, so let's ignore that fact. <clears throat> and here we are in our little art room uh, slash, as I said, jewelry making room. So you have like two different activities in here. Um, you can choose between those or you can use both of them, whatever you like, but I thought these two works quite nicely when it comes to the style and everything. <clears throat> so it really worked for me and I really want to give you um, more skills to do in just one build. And we are slowly moving to the basement and this is going to be the last room from this build and I'm really hoping that you guys enjoyed it and I'm really really truly hoping to make this something similar to this again very soon because I just love this style and it's probably my favorite. So I'm sending you a lot, a lot of kisses and I just cannot wait to see you again very, very soon. Bye bye, you guys.